Hello guys, today we are trying to use a Brother GTX to print on a platform, which everybody call it a DTF now. Why we want to print on uh, this platform? Because it's much uh, convenient to fit on certain spaces like sleeve or labels without using the GTX. Because GTX sometimes is uh, difficult to do pre-treatment on certain areas. So he press, you will get what you see. I'll show you how I do it with my settings. So, the first thing is uh, you need to create the artwork as same same size with your platen. Okay, now my, my platen is uh, 14 inches width and 16 inches height. So I create the artboard as per this size, so it's easier. See, you don't have to readjust everything, it fits perfectly. Okay, so you need two files now. One is a CMYK, another one is a white color because you need to print two layers, two times. So we now we are going to print CMYK first and this is the setting I use. You choose color ink only and I take color multiple pass. Maybe you can try your setting because this setting is a, is a very good vibrancy already. So I'll send this file to the printer first. So I remove this file. Oops. Second, see it fits perfectly, so I don't have to readjust anything. Now the second layer is white only. So the white I choose two and mask one. Okay. If you are if you put too much ink volume, then the ink will smear. Okay. So now I remove my laptop first. So now we are we'll print on uh, the mat area. Uh, okay, I cut this small because I don't want to waste the platform. Okay, I need to do something to stick it on. Okay, so now we'll be printing the CMYK first. Okay, which is this part. Color vibrancy is okay. We need material as smooth. Okay, so now color vibrancy is okay. We need to wait about 30 seconds for it to dry. Otherwise, the the CMYK ink will merge together with the white. Okay, we need a separation here, so we need to wait for it to dry up. Okay, now let's load the white first. Okay, white is loaded. Okay, and let's fire it up. Print the second. You should know they make a lot of stupid shit, right? Yeah, so it's perfect. If you do it wrong, you will see the color coming, the CMYK coming up on top of the white. It will smush together. So if you only see white here, means it's, it's good print. It's dry enough, the CMYK. So now we are going to put on the glue powder. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, quite vibrant. And the white is uh, okay, very solid. Everything covered up. Okay, so this is the hot melt powder. Okay, it looks like this. Okay, this is not sugar. So now, put this on evenly. Ah, let's shake it first. Okay. Yeah. 
Huh? Right, let's check. Okay, everything even already. Okay, now go oven. Ah, close this. You don't want the dust to go inside. You don't want any dirt to go inside. Okay, now let's go oven. 200. 200 Celsius and 2 minutes The glue is evenly distributed okay. Let's look at the vibrancy not too bad okay so now we are hitting at a uh, hundred fifty and eight seconds let's try it okay. eight seconds Try to cool down. Okay, right? Okay. Just the, the glue the glue is not so neat I think that one we can work it out color is very nice uh, everything is very sharp so now let's test stretching test yeah very good no cracking oh shit <laughs> okay okay no crack no crack stretch test scratch scratch very good okay still there no peeling off okay now the washing test this is a hand wash <laughs> hand wash soap so let's try it out Yeah, no color fading, no sign of uh, fading and cracking or peeling off. Yeah, so everything is still there. Very nice. So this is the second film that I made, the extra film I made. And we got to hit one proper, one proper t-shirt. Right, so now as you can see, done okay but there's a there's some alignment issue here okay there's some alignment issue because the film we cut just now is too small when the film is too small you cannot hold it together so we, I recommend you to cut uh, the film bigger at least a4 size so the, the alignment won't go soft means there's a grip there at the bottom or maybe you tape a lot more or use a binders clip or use it any way that you like okay so that's all, thank you for watching and all the best for your testing. What what do you want to say? Do you have anything to say? <laughs> Just please on me. Okay, <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> yeah, so I think this is too much because uh, you see the white ink is smearing already. Yeah, too wet. Maybe you need to reduce a bit of a highlight.
over there. Wow, 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 this part. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, this is bad. Right, this is the example of a failure. Too much white ink. 